We are standing in the city center of Zlin, on the site of the former Batya factory. Today the premises are open to the public and they accommodate various institutions and shops. There is also the regional authority and financial administration office located in the former Batya administrative building. It is one of Zlin's most significant landmarks and a unique example of functionalist architecture in the country. Its author, Vladimir Karfik, worked for the Batya family during the interwar period. After the Second World War, everyone who cooperated with the Batya factory had to leave the city and Zlin was renamed Gottwaldov by the communists. Today the footwear industry has almost disappeared, with the exception of some small workshops. The whole system of Batya's architecture was simply but ingeniously designed. Today the individual buildings can be easily reconstructed to serve a different purpose. The city started developing in the 1920s. During the interwar period, the small town with some 3,000 inhabitants expanded to a city of 40,000, with a new center, labor square, including shopping malls, cinemas and other facilities. All this was somehow connected with the Batya factory, where we are standing right now. A s dalšími vymoženostmi s řadou škol, nemocnicí. A to vše vlastně souviselo s firmou Baťa, v jejímž vlastně centru teď stojíme. Right now we are standing in what is perhaps the biggest attraction in the city and that is the Batya company's elevator office located in building number 21. The lift was supposed to simplify communication between the boss and his employees so that he could get quickly to wherever he needed. It was also supposed to impress visitors and customers to show them what a great company it was and how it prospered. So it served as a promotional tool, we could say. The terrace of this building is also one of Zlin's popular attractions because it offers a stunning view of the city, especially the area built by the footwear magnate. You can see the center of the town, including Labour Square with the Batya houses for workers. When he was building his empire, Tomáš Batya knew his workers would need housing and he built whole districts for them. Today there are around 3,000 Batya houses, detached as well as terraced houses. At the beginning there were four rows of houses which can be found in Zlin's oldest district of Letna and then there were semi-detached houses for two families with two separate entries. Each district also had its school, cultural center and other facilities. On their way to work or on their way back, workers would pass through a social center, which included a cinema and a cultural center, where they could have refreshments, play games and spend time together. There was also a shopping mall where they could do their shopping and many other facilities. Nebo z práce do těch jednotlivých čtvrtí.